Hitachi Hitech is a unique state-of-the-art technology company that can provide cutting-edge solutions for lithium-ion batteries from equipment to components in all aspects of the value chain, from R&D, to manufacturing, and quality control. In this presentation, we will share about Hitachi Hitech's lithium-ion battery solutions to cater to your inspection needs in the lithium-ion battery market. The case trend is drastically changing the global automotive industry. The word case stands for connectivity, autonomous, shared and services, and electric. Based on this background, many countries are actively establishing environmental regulations and targets. With that, global demand and market forecast for electric vehicles are expected to expand steadily as shown in the graph on the bottom right. In order to respond to the changes in industrial structure, Hitachi provides advanced solutions to meet the diverse and complex challenges of manufacturing lithium-ion batteries. Hitachi Hitech has a wealth of experience in providing rechargeable battery manufacturing equipment for over 30 years. We offer a comprehensive product lineup, from the raw material process to the assembling process, and provide Hitachi quality battery manufacturing solutions to help achieve high efficiency and high quality rechargeable battery production. We also offer a lineup of analytical instruments for development, inspection, and quality assurance needs. Hitachi's electron microscopes are optimal for quality control, from scanning electron microscopes that support large samples to desktop electron microscopes for quick analysis. In addition, our X-ray particle contaminant analyzer EA8000A has the world's highest level of foreign object detection capability for detecting and analyzing foreign object in lithium-ion batteries. This slide summarizes five factors affecting battery performance. A lithium-ion battery performance is strongly dependent on metallic impurities, compositional inhomogeneities, microstructural heterogeneity, point and line defects. Hitachi provides solutions to analyze these factors like detection of metallic impurities and inhomogeneities in compositional structure. With the current societal and technological trends, there are greater needs for more reliable, durable and longer-lasting batteries. In order to achieve that, it is necessary to improve the battery design by understanding its materials and structural components. In this presentation, we will go through two main categories of inspections in lithium-ion batteries. First, I will explain about our solutions for metal contaminants inspection. We sometimes read or hear about accidents involving battery fires in the news. Metal contamination in batteries causes shortening of the cathode and anode electrodes, when impurities are contained in the raw material or accidentally introduced during the manufacturing process. Hence, analysis of the shape, size, or type of foreign matters are required. As the size of contaminants become smaller and smaller, the need and importance for stringent quality control increases. What are the effects of metal contaminants? This slide shows the phenomenon of how metal contaminants causes electrical short circuit between the cathode and anode. There are two types of electrical shorts, chemical short and physical short. If there are metal contaminants in the cathode, ionized metal will form a dendrite in the separator. This causes an internal short circuit, known as a chemical short, causing voltage reduction by self-discharge. If there is any big metal particle present between the cathode and anode, overheat and ignition by thermal runaway will occur. This is known as a physical short. Recent higher energy density lithium ion batteries have higher risk on voltage reduction, overheat and ignition caused by metallic contaminants. In the lithium ion battery manufacturing process, metal particles often come from various manufacturing processes. Our analytical instrument contributes to finding metal contaminants to reduce the production of defective batteries and lower defect costs. We provide metal contaminants inspection instruments for inline and nearline. Inline analysis utilizing X-ray reveals metal contaminants of cathode, 
anode, and separator. Such system can be set in each process. Meanwhile, XRF and SEM can be used to inspect metal contaminants for detailed nearline analysis. These systems have features to investigate metal particles from material, electrode and manufacturing equipment. This table shows how XIF and SEM are utilized near production line to investigate metal contaminants. What you see here is an inspection result of metal contaminants found in raw material using our XIF EA8000. Although the raw material remains inside the plastic pack, X-ray can easily penetrate the plastic so that we can analyze the powders without removing the packaging. The images here are transmission X-ray images and elemental analysis data of both spectrum and mapping from the detected particle. This slide shows the inspection result of metal contaminants detected in the cathode material using SEM and EDX. SEM has high resolution to reveal the fine shape of metal particles while EDX provides elemental information. Hence, SEM EDX is often used to analyze metal contaminants for particle analysis. This slide shows metal contaminants inspection in the production line. Cathode, anode, and separator roll can be used together with an X-ray inline inspection system. The roll passes in between the X-ray source and X-ray sensor, and we can obtain transmission X-ray image as shown in the bottom right. The size and location of metal contaminants can be clarified using such X-ray inspection system. This is an example of the results from X-ray inspection. The photo on the left is a demo unit that we have developed. The right images are data taken with the X-ray inspection system. Metal particles with 50 to 100 micrometers in diameter can be clearly detected with line speeds of not only 50 meters per minute but also 100 meters per minute. What you see here is an XRF inspection result of metal contaminants found inside the electrode. X-ray can penetrate the electrode depending on the thickness, so EA8000 can analyze metal contaminants found on not only surface but also inside the electrode. Here we have the transmission X-ray images and elemental analysis data of both spectrum and mapping around the detected particle. The EA8000 clearly revealed the positions and elements of the metal contaminants. This slide shows a SEM EDX inspection result of metal contaminants that comes from the manufacturing equipment. Adhesive tapes are often used to collect metal contaminants in each manufacturing equipment like calendaring and cutting machines. As SEM has high-resolution capability to reveal the fine shape of metal particles, SEM EDX method is often used to analyze metal contaminants. Further analysis may suggest sources where the particles come from. Next, I would like to explain about our solutions for structural inspection. Ionic and electrical conductivity between cathode, anode, separator, and electrode foil are critical for lithium-ion battery performance and lifespan. Hitachi has various types of electron microscopes available to inspect the structure of a lithium-ion battery. We will explain how our electron microscopes are utilized for structural inspection from next slide. What you see here are SEM images of cathode and anode material. Our electron microscopes can reveal fine surface structures of the particles at high magnification. Our SEM can perform automated imaging of particles using our new software, EM Flow Creator. The EM Flow Creator can automatically operate the SEM with a recipe set by the user beforehand. In this example, a particle is firstly detected at lower magnification by template matching. Then, the stage will move to the particle position. Next, the particle will be imaged at a higher magnification set in the recipe. After that, the stage moves to the next position to find the next particle. The flowchart on the right is an example of a recipe used for automated imaging. This slide shows a SEM image of separator. Battery separators should have appropriate porosity, hole diameter, and uniformity. For example, a larger pore size results in higher ion conductivity, 
while a smaller pore diameter leads to less self-discharge and causes microshorting. In addition, if the pore size's uniformity is low, the flow of ions becomes non-uniform, leading to deterioration in cycle characteristics. Therefore, inspection of size distribution of pores in the battery separator is essential to maintain battery performance. This SEM image shows cathode particles with binder and conductive additive after the mixing and dispersing process. It is important to understand dispersion among active material, binder, and conductive additive because the distribution of the conductive additive critically affects ionic and electrical conductivity as shown in the right diagram. This slide shows anode material with binder after mixing and dispersing process. Normally, it is not easy to identify structure of binder with anode particle because each material consists of mainly carbon. However, by using an ultra-low accelerating voltage of just 20 volts on our new short-key SEM SU8700, we can observe the fine structure of the binder on graphite anode particles. These are SEM images of the cathode electrode's top surface after the drying and calendaring process. The conditions of the drying process is crucial in electrode manufacturing as it affects the binder distribution within the electrode. For the electrode produced in dry condition B, we can observe more binder on the surface as indicated by the darker areas, compared to that of condition A. This indicates that the dispersion and drying conditions and their effects should be checked. Quick surface analysis will contribute to process feedback and quality control in manufacturing lithium-ion batteries. What you see here is an example of performing a quick analysis of cross-section structure using our tabletop SEMEDX. We can prepare the cross-section of electrodes for analysis with cutting tool. The method can be applied after both drying process and calendaring process, as shown in these figures. The left data is taken after the drying process and the right data is taken after the calendaring process using our tabletop SEMEDX. The specimens can be prepared and observed within a short time frame of 15 minutes. This slide shows the EDX mappings of the cross-section samples prepared by Quick Cutting Tool. Compared to the sample produced at drying condition A, there is a larger amount of fluorine detected at the top of the electrode that was produced under drying condition B. This suggests that the drying conditions have caused binder migration. Such quick cross-section structural analysis helps in process feedback and quality control of manufacturing lithium-ion batteries. If you would like to observe finer structure, ion milling system should be used for preparing the cross-sections. Hitachi's ion milling system the R-Blade 5000 can mill a large area of more than a few millimeters. The SEM and EDX data shown in this slide are cross-section images of a cathode electrode. The cross-section images clearly show the dispersion of the active material, binder, and electrode film in the sample. We have reached the end of this presentation, and we thank you for your attention. Be a leader in the lithium-ion battery market with Hitachi High Tech as your partner. Hitachi's social innovation is powering good.